And speaking of Brooklyn, here are the most up-to-date NBA futures odds, according to Caesars' William Hill. That's who the they Nets, want you to the bet on. The current favorite to win the title. Yes, Richard, we always make the point. This is who they think they can take money on. But they're only slightly ahead of the Lakers, who are followed by the Jazz and Clippers. So, Robert, I love being able to say this sentence. So, Robert, you've been on seven title teams. That's just like the most fun <laughs> sentence in TV, isn't it? You've won seven rings. Which team do you trust the most right now? I love this man, question. You know, I'm going to have to go with nobody right <laughs> now, man. <laughs> because it's the thing because the reason I say that because of injuries. Lakers got injuries. And look at the Nets. They, this guy's out. This guy's out. And then... That bug called COVID-19. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to happen with that and how everybody's going to start traveling out. Fans are going to come in the arenas more. There's so many different things that could happen with that. So I don't really trust anybody right now until we get down to the finals and we see where everybody's seated mm -hmm. and we know what's going to happen with the protocol. If there's going to be a bubble, I know it's not. But, hey, <laughs> I'm waiting to see. In television, you got to make a choice, my brother. Tell them! <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make it for you. It's the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. It's not about LeBron because I completely trust him. Mm -hmm. AD and that calf, okay, is eerily similar to what happened to KD years ago in the, in the playoffs before he showed up in the finals and then it ripped. I'm praying that doesn't happen to AD. I don't wish that on anybody. I love the guy, but, I, but, but I'm scared. You got a lingering word. As it pertains to the Brooklyn Nets, I think KD going to be ready. And what are the other? Harden <laughs> or Kyrie, if not both, are going to be ready. And Listen, I've been on the record. You ain't winning. You ain't coming out of the East with just Harden and, K and, and Kyrie. You ain't coming out of the, 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 the West, the East, I'm sorry, with them. But whoever has KD, you're going to be all right. And that's what I'm telling you. The Brooklyn Nets, because of Kevin Durant, again, when we talk about Steph Curry, comes in in the second quarter, yes, they drops 33. We didn't care right. because it's KD. Yep. That's why we're not concerned. <laughs> because of KD and the East, the combination of the two, Nets are the better bet. Gosh. As much as I love to disagree with you. You can't. You, you can't because this is the thing. When you look at the Lakers and their balance, but the Nets' balance is starting to look very Joe Harris, very, Joe Jeff Harris, Green. Bruce Brown, Jeff Green. Like you're starting to look and look, it's even boxing. but like, on, they have a lot out. of talent there. I will say this: the the injury that I that Anthony Davis is trying to get through is very different than soft tissue injuries like um, James Harden, yeah. like Kevin Durant, like Kyrie, like those little soft tissue. If you had to pick one. With both LeBron and AD missing so much time and having played in, in a month, and I know Anthony Davis back, you got to say the Nets, but not by much. And the undeni not, not by much. And the undeniable element is this. Mm -hmm. We can say what we want. I don't like Kyrie's personal days. I'm not talking about the last personal day. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the previous ones where he didn't tell us what was going on, mm -hmm. and he just said he needed to turn time off. No, not after nine months off. You don't need time off uh, we, three weeks into the season. Having said all of that, this brother is arguably the greatest show in the NBA, so his skills are so nasty, and he lives for the those postseason moments. to show up. Yeah. He, to those he will show up in the postseason. He will be ready. All right, so let me distill the question down to just the West, right? Sure. So the, team, the Nets are the team you trust most overall. That means, makes them the team you trust most in the East. What about the West? Who do you trust most in the West? The Lakers because of LeBron James. That's it. LeBron James. LeBron James. L listen, I cannot applaud the man enough. 36 years of age, 18th year in the league, mm -hmm. and up until this injury, hadn't missed a game. Yep. He's not somebody because of nicks and knacks or a day of rest takes time off. He is the marquee. He knows the responsibility that comes along with it. You played with the Kobe's of the world. You played with stars before, including LeBron. Obviously, you and I have covered the league for decades. Guys that accept that responsibility and show up, I can't say enough about them. We love this league because of guys like them. LeBron is that dude. Mm -hmm. And when I look at Kawhi Leonard, I would pick the Clippers if I could. I know he'll be there to come playoff times. Yeah. But the roller coaster that is the regular season and his unwillingness to prioritize that the way that he should, I think they'll come back to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And I think that the Clippers will come up short. I'm praying for a Clippers-Lakers battle because it's so owed to us that. by Kawhi who did <laughs> not show up because they gave up a 3-1 lead in the semifinals last year. Yeah. LeBron was waiting after he had the dead commercial, the, the crown dangling from his convertible, all that stuff with the New Balance commercial, and then he didn't show up. He owes us this. But LeBron and the Lakers are more trustworthy out west. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, they're the defending champs, first of all, and they got two 
of the top 10 players in the league. So I agree with you on that, Steve. And since you're making me pick someone I trust, it's going to be the Lakers. you got to trust go. the Lakers because they're the defending champs. And like you said, they got LeBron James and that culture. We always talk about culture. It ain't nothing like it, winning a championship in a Laker uniform. I've always called you brilliant. I've always called <laughs> you I brilliant. do want to see a Lakers-Clippers matchup, though, because the Clippers look really good to me. You right have to now. make it happen, so hey, I'm going to work on it. You have to, have to make it happen. Staples Center's right across the street. You know, don't, don't, don't be neutral oh, on this. You have to demand that both Lakers, both L.A. teams show up. <laughs> you could do it, Rachel it. Nichols. You could do it. You got the clout. Stephen A., who, by the way, your old days at the Philadelphia Inquirer, my old days at the Washington Post, I have been honored ever since to be next to you. Thank you so Thank much you. for Honest joining mom. us. We'll get you back here Rich, soon. Rich, I know I, I didn't mean to depress you, Rich. I know I'm talking about your nets. I know the word nets. <laughs> You know, you don't like but it. But it was like it went from like it, I it was like your Nets show. and look, Lakers look, look, look at the and Nets and Stephen Knicks. Stephen World. Yeah. Listen, well, you should watch this if you're not watching it. I do it's watch ESPN it. Plus. It's fantastic. <laughs> watch it. He and again, watch it. about the Nets, though. The he doesn't want to watch Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.